Hey Miami Lakers and welcome to our daily COVID-19 update here in our community. Bienvenido reciente en nuestra comunidad del update de cada día del COVID-19, del coronavirus aquí en nuestra comunidad. Estamos en vivo de lo que se llama el Northwest 60th Avenue uh, Bikeway, Pedestrian Shared uh, Useway. So if you see right, right next to the manager, right there you can see it, that is a new uh, bikeway in an area of our town that didn't have any sidewalks. Uh, it, it, this whole area is an industrial area. A lot of folks get dropped off at the bus stop. They had to walk either in the grass or in the street to get to work. So as you can see, we uh, we finalized it, which is amazing. You can ride bike on one side, you can run on the other. It came out really, really, really nice. Estamos aquí en Noroeste, la avenida 60, ¿verdad? 60. 60 aquí en nuestra comunidad. Hacimos una villa nueva donde no habían eh, aceras en, nuestra, en, en la área aquí. Aquí trabajan miles de personas en esta área industrial de nuestra comunidad. Este es un proyecto que terminamos. Ya tuve que hay personas montando eh, bicicletas aquí y también tuve que eh, eh, donde las personas paran en la, en la estación de Guagua pueden ahora caminar eh, eh, por, esta, por esta vía todos los días. Eso es algo muy bueno. Pero para darle eh, nuestro eh, update de cada día, aquí está nuestro monitor. Hey Miami Lakers, uh, just wanted to just start off and first of all, I hope everybody had a great weekend. Mothers had a special day yesterday. Unfortunately, it was a soggy day, but hopefully everybody was able to spend the day with, the, uh, with their family and their mothers. So I just wanted to get started by saying that uh, we have had no new cases over the weekend. So today is day number four of no change in our number. We still have 45 confirmed cases. We've only had two cases in the last two and a half weeks. So we're going on 17 days with only two cases. No new cases in the last four days where our number, our number is 45 <coughs> cases. Uh, le quiero avisar que ojalá todo el mundo pudo pasar un día de lo más bueno ayer con su madre y su familia. Desafortunadamente llovió, pero eh, por lo menos se pudieron, pudieron pasar un día lindo con su familia. Eh, le quería avisar que tenemos 45 casos confirmados, que el número ese no ha cambiado en cuatro días. So something really, really, really important as we begin uh, reopening our economy. I know it's geared towards next Monday, so a week from now. The rules will be getting released, those guidelines, uh, tomorrow or Wednesday. That's uh, per the county mayor. We had a, I was able to talk to him last week. So once we get those rules, we'll be sharing it with our community, our business owners. We're going to have several days uh, to ensure that we do an educational campaign, that everybody uh, complies uh, with those rules. Eh, Parece que para el miércoles va jueves, para el, eh, el martes, mañana, por miércoles vamos a estar recibiendo las regulaciones nuevas para reabrir la economía aquí en nuestra comunidad el lunes que viene, que es bien importante y vamos a empezar una campaña de educación para estar seguro de que todos los negociantes aquí en nuestra comunidad lo entienden que tienen que hacer para reabrir en una manera eh, que no suben los casos de coronavirus. But something really, really exciting happening in our community this Thursday and it's part of our reopening phase. And it's very, very important. It's, it's, it's about testing. Uh, we are going to have a, for one day, a Royal Oaks Park, a site where you be able to get, te your, get tested to see if you have the antibody, the coronavirus antibody, meaning that you had it at some point. Uh, so, este jueves en el parque Royal Oaks Park, eh, vamos a tener el, el examen de la, para ver si las personas tienen la inmunidad al coronavirus, que es bien importante porque ahí podemos saber también eh, las personas que ya lo tuvieron hace tiempo y puede ser que nunca se dieron cuenta, pero en ese momento tienen lo que se llama la inmunidad y ahí se puede saber. So that antibody test is very, very important. So this Thursday, uh, that, that it's going to be happening at Rolox Park. We'll be releasing that information uh, once we, we already have it. But we're, 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 we'll be releasing it at one time tomorrow. It's going to be most of the day, but it's going to be the uh, the actual flyer should be on our website at some point today. It may well uh, already be up there, but uh, I'll check and make sure that before the end of today that flyer is on there so everybody has the details on what time it starts and what time it finishes. So it's important that you all go out there. I know it's part of uh, the folks that are going to be donating blood, but at the same time they're going to be conducting 
the antibody test, which is very, very important as we continue uh, towards those steps to reopen uh, the, uh, our economy here in the town of Miami Lake. So let me start getting some of those questions, Miami Lakers, that you all might have. Katrina Cicadas, uh, Mr. Manager. Give me a second there. Katrina Cicada wants to know, are we still under curfew? <laughs> no, the uh, curfew expired a very, very long time ago, several weeks ago, and uh, there's no plans for us to go back under curfew. Hey, la señora Cicada quiere saber si todavía, si hay un toque de queda aquí en la ciudad de Miami Lake. No, el toque de queda se piró hace más de dos semanas y no hay planes ninguno de volver a instituir otro toque de queda. Hey, Mr. Manager, Alejandro Sanchez wants to know, if a person has the antibody, does it mean that they cannot contract COVID-19? Yeah, the medical professionals are completely, you know, it's a, like uh, the mayor's always called this, it's a, it's a novel coronavirus, so it's new. So they haven't had enough time to study it. I think the fact that uh, you have in, uh, antibodies will give you some immunity. What they don't know on yet is, is, is that immunity going to last for a week, a month, a year, two years? So those are the difficult questions that the medical community is still trying to figure out. So right now they know that it will protect you. They don't know how much it will protect you or how long. So those are the things, but it's a good sign. I think that's what they're striving for is to develop some level of what they call herd immunity where a lot of people or a certain number of people in our community have uh, been exposed to the virus and have developed these antibodies and that's a uh, very good thing in, until we were able to get a uh, vaccine developed. So el señor Sánchez quiere saber si una persona ya tiene la inmunidad, que ya tuvo el coronavirus, eso tiene que ver que, que no lo pueden coger otra vez, lo pueden coger el coronavirus otra vez o que, qué pasa? Bueno, este virus es un virus nuevo. So, están todavía estudiando eh, cómo el virus este eh, se desarrolla y lo que sí saben es que si uno tiene los anticuerpos eh, que te va a dar un poquito de un, un nivel de protección pero lo que no saben todavía es si esa protección eh, va a durar un día, una semana, un mes, un año, dos años por toda la vida, no saben todavía el nivel de la protección que te dan esos anticuerpos lo que están para, tratando de ver, a ver si mucha gente, si hay un porcentaje grande de personas que tienen el, los anticuerpos debido a estar expuesto al virus, es bueno hasta que po podamos eh, finalizar y tener una vacuna. So Katrina has a question. Local restaurants, barbers, salons, do we know when they can open? Yeah, what I can tell you is that uh, the majority of businesses in Miami Lakes will be sorry folks it's busy out here on 60th Avenue the majority of businesses in Miami Lakes including restaurants including barbers and salons will be able to reopen with restrictions on May the 18th that's what we know so far the specifics of what those restrictions are are they going to limit how many people can go inside uh, all of those uh, details are what the mayor was saying we'll, we're going to have within the next day or two. And once we do, we'll be able to put that uh, information out so everybody is aware. And really, the businesses uh, can have the, the lead time to get ready for that reopening on uh, the 18th. La señora Secada quiere saber los restaurantes, las barberías, los salones de belleza, cuando se van a reabrir? Sí, todo lo que hemos han informado del condado es que esos tipos de negocios, la mayoría de los negocios la mayoría de los negocios en Miami Lakes van a poder abrir el día de 18 de mayo, incluyendo los restaurantes eh, la barbería los salones de belleza, lo que también en, eh, entre mañana y pasado nos van a dar los detalles de cómo va a ser esa reapertura las restricciones que van a tener y en cuanto nosotros lo tengamos se lo vamos a, a distribuir a los ne negociantes para que ellos tengan la oportunidad de preparar sus negocios y su empleado para uh, estar listo para el día 18 poder uh, volver a abrir las puertas. Vivian Tamayo Toth uh, wants to know 
does this cost anything? And I believe it's in regards to the antibody testing that will happen at Royal Oaks Park this Thursday. No, the uh, the uh, the drive, and actually it will also be coupled with a blood drive, uh, and that will be on Thursday, and it's free to anybody who wants to uh, participate. Eh, la señora Toth quiere saber si lo cuesta algo para hacer el, el, el examen de la inmunidad del coronavirus. Sí, el examen que se va a hacer el jueves en el parque de Royal Oaks va a ser la prueba de anticuerpo y también va, va a ser también una va a haber donaciones de sangre. Eso todo es eh, sin costo ninguno al participante, a la persona que, que vaya a donar o y a probarse la sangre para los anticuerpos. So mama, mama Nance, the chairwoman Rogers, uh, wants to know antibody testing for Miami Lakes residents only, or is it open to the entire community? It's open to anybody, Nancy. It's uh, there's not, they're not going to be checking IDs, and it's uh, not going to be restricted to Miami Lakes residents. So anybody who's uh, who's uh, hearing this message and gets the information will be able to participate. La señora Rogers, que es como la la mamá de todos los aquí de, de la ciudad de Miami Lakes, que es la el, el chairwoman, la directora del, del, del comité del, del servicio público aquí en nuestra comunidad, eh, ella quiere saber si el, los exámenes de la inmunidad este jueves si está abierto para reciente nada más o para toda la comunidad. No, va a ser eh, di, disponible para cualquier persona, no tiene que ser residente de Miami Lakes. Lydia Fernandez wants to know, I missed the count, what are the numbers for the town? The numbers are 45. It's the same number we've had for four days, so we have been the unchanged for the entire weekend. We had today's the fourth day with the same number. We've only had two cases in the last two and a half weeks. The last 17 days, only two cases, and that's uh, continuing the same average that we've seen recently of only about one a week, which is great news. It used to be one to two a day. We had a stretch there in the at the height of the curve, so this is great, great news. Michelle Poyo wants to know, do we have to live in Miami Lakes to be tested at Royal Oaks no, for antibody? I'm sorry, no, uh, we just, uh, we went over that a minute ago. We, you do not have to be uh, a resident of Miami Lakes. Uh, they're not going to be checking IDs. Okay, Rudy Ca Cachaneda wants to know, when, when can we go out in public but not in stores without a mask? Well, this first phase is if, if you're going to be inside of any interior space, inner, inside spaces, you're going to, for right now, the restrictions are going to continue uh, with wearing uh, some kind of facial covering. So you're going to hear more about it and the specifics are going to be released by Miami-Dade County in the next day or two. But right now it appears that all indications are that you're going to, if you're going to be indoors, you're going to be required other than in your house, right? Any other in, uh, interior space, you're going to be uh, asked to wear a mask. So Nancy Fernandez Truce Dolly wants to know: Can you just do the antibody test instead of giving blood? Right now, uh, it's going to be coupled together. So they're going to ask for you to donate blood, and they're going to test your blood for the antibodies. And as I think they're even going to be able to provide you information about your cholesterol and other screenings that they're going to do to you. Uh, so they'll be able to provide you all that information and all of it is at no cost to you. Yeah, Alejandro Sanchez asked the same question. Do we need to donate blood in order to know if we, can, if we have the antibody? Yes. Yes. So Didi wants to know, uh, where can I get tested if I am asymptomatic, if I, if I show no symptoms? because uh, uh, she's saying that she is scared. Yeah, the, the, the closest place that you can do that, you don't even need an appointment, uh, is the Dolphin Stadium, where the Dolphins play football there, the old Joe Robbie Stadium. Uh, that football stadium, I know you don't have to have symptoms and you do not need an appointment. Hey, Didi wants to know what time. I know it was the majority of the day, correct? For the... Uh, for the... The, the antibody yep, testing? Yep, yep. Yeah, it's, the flyer is going to be posted at some point today. So sometime tonight, check back on our uh, social media pages and you'll be able to see the flyer there. That'll have all of the information, but it'll be most of the day. So I know this is one of the questions. So, and Nancy's asking this question. So if somebody has, if somebody goes on Thursday, uh, donate blood and, and they have the antibody, they'll have the choice also to donate plasma later on so hopefully, I know this is part of one of the things, it may help 
uh, in, in, uh, in healing coronavirus. I know I've read many articles, many studies on this, but I know I'll have that opportunity to yes. donate plasma if you have, if it's shown that you do have the antibody, which is very important. Donating that plasma can save lives. I know there's a lot of ongoing studies. I know there's a lot of folks that have gotten better because of it. So it's very important that, that if you do have the, the antibody that you know you consider uh, giving uh, uh, plasma, correct? Yes. That's yeah, the, that's one of the proven uh, treatments to help uh, make the impact of coronavirus less, uh, less impactful. Azucena uh, Lopez, the new shared use path is on 60th Avenue. This is the largest industrial area in our community, uh, which never had any sidewalks in it. But yeah, as you can see, it's a beautiful shared use path. We, we've already had several folks ride by, ride by us, but it gives you an opportunity. So if you're jogging, if you're walking, uh, you could be on one side. If folks are riding bike, you can be on the other. So it's on Northwest 60th Avenue. And it's really, really nice because it'll end up connecting to the uh the safe process school project so you're gonna have a very very nice and long uh bike path here in our community shared youth youth path which which is very very important yes week at City Hall uh, he's saying that they don't allow for a second test I don't know if they were testing for, for the antibodies last time but he's saying that that, uh, that can he give again I'd have to check I don't know what the standards are you may not be able to donate uh, within a certain number of days but uh, we'll get that in, that question answered for you so thank you Miami Lakers uh, uh, thank you again for the sacrifices that you've all made uh, during these very difficult times without the sacrifices you guys have made, we wouldn't have gotten to this point where we are today, uh, where it looks like we'll be getting, uh, you know, great information tomorrow in regards to the guidelines. We'll be hosting a Facebook Live to go through those guidelines and answer any questions that our business owners uh, and even customers, consumers in our community might have. But uh, but yeah, it's it's Monday's going to be a good day for our entire community. There's a lot of folks that have been wanting to go to work, but in a manner where the guidelines are there guidelines that have been reviewed and approved by the infectious disease experts in our community which is so so important to make sure that we surpass uh the coronavirus eh, so reciente aquí veo que no hay más preguntas no más comentarios pero muchas gracias por todos los sacrificios que han hecho eh, si no era por todos los sacrificios nuestro reciente eh, no, 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 no llegaríamos en este momento donde ya el lunes estamos hablando de reabrir nuestra economía mañana o el miércoles vamos a estar hablando de regulaciones que ya están eh, revisadas por los doctores eh, de, la, de los efectos de, de las enfermedades infecciosas del sur de la Florida, pero eso es gracias de los sacrificios de nuestros residentes algo que estamos muy orgullosos de todos ustedes, we're very proud of our community of all of our residents uh, for everything that, that's happened in our community MK, MK wants to know are these salons opening? Yes, the uh, salons going to be some restrictions and all of those details will be released uh, within the next day or two once we get them we're going to host a facebook live we're going to put stuff on social media but we will go through them to make sure that all the information is out there in a very transparent fashion and everybody understands so mammy lakers thank you for tuning in we'll be back with you tomorrow and remember together we will get through this god bless you stay safe and we'll see you tomorrow